Welcome back to HomeSpot, everyone. I hope everyone is having a great day. I, myself, am starting out on a good one so far. So our next project is right here. So it's gonna be a little bit of a refinishing project. Now, overall, the table is actually in very good condition. There's nothing really wrong with it, but it is just a little worn down. Just, you know, normal wear and tear right here on the most used places. Uh, right here, it looks like this side of the table was the most used. As you can see, it's a little worn down right here, this compared to right here. Um, overall, it should be a pretty easy project. Now, I do have to take into account that this is not uh, like a big, thick piece of hardwood. It's just a veneer on top. So I have to be careful as far as sanding, make sure I don't go too far. But again, overall, it should be a pretty easy, simple project. Everything that is black right now will be painted black, will be repainted black. Everything that is a wood color will stay a wood color. However, we're gonna go a little bit darker, more like a, a dark walnut color. So should look nice. Let's get to work. All right, so first up, we need to disassemble everything just to see exactly what we're working with here. And first off, tip number one, whenever you're taking apart all of the hardware, put everything together in a little Ziploc baggie. That way you don't lose anything. If you have different types of hardware, different types of bolts or whatever it may be, use different baggies, label them. Uh, in my case, not too many different types, so it's all going in the exact same one. Tip number two, keep everything organized. Once you've taken everything apart, just keep it organized. Simple as that. Now to move on to sanding here. Now I'm using 150 grit sandpaper. Now you do not have to remove all of the paint. Since I'm gonna be repainting these black, again, you don't really have to remove all of the paint, but it does have to be nice and smooth. Take all of the edges away, all of the nicks that may have happened over the years. We're smoothing that out and just creating a new surface for the new paint to bond to. Okay, now moving on to the tabletop. The tabletop and the chair tops are again, definitely a little bit different. You do have to sand it completely down to bare wood just because we are gonna be staining it. You don't want the old stain to show through, so it does require quite a bit more effort here. Now with the chairs, I dis did disassemble the entire chair except for the chair backs. These were glued on there and usually glue is a lot stronger than the wood and I was not about to find out by breaking one of these. So I left these intact and set them as is just getting as well as I could into the little corners. Okay, moving on to the chair footsteps. I did cheat on these a little bit here. Uh, these, as you can imagine, are were pretty damaged just because, you know, you put your foot on them. Uh, so instead of sanding them, I did just throw them through the planer. Literally turned a 30 minute job into about a one to two minute job. So hurry for tools there. Once all the power sanding has been done, it's time to move on over to some hand sanding. And what we're really just trying to do, we're trying to get all the edges that the power sander could not get to, uh, make sure all the edges are nice and rounded over. We don't want any sharp edges or anything like that. So we get to it. Now, 
Now, once we're done with sanding, it's time to cover everything that we do not want black paint on, uh, specifically the hardware. So you want to do this just so in the back end, whenever you're trying to put everything back together, you don't have paint all over your bolts. Um, now the tabletop, it would have been easier for me to take the tabletop off of the base itself, however it was glued on there. I definitely did try, but it was glued on there, and again I'm not trying to rip any wood off or anything like that, so no, just cover it up, not too big of a deal. Now moving on to paint, we did go with a flat black. Now the sheen doesn't really matter at this point because we are going to be putting a top coat over it, but nonetheless, this is a flat black coat. Um, it was thinned out, so whenever you're thinning out, just use simple water. Uh, I would say about a three to one ratio of paint to water. Once everything has two coats of paint, I do go over it with some steel wool just to kind of take any edges down, make it nice and super smooth. And this is tip number, I think it's tip number two now. Please read the bottles, the labels on the bottles themselves. So for example, the top coat that I was going to apply on here specifically says do not use steel wood. It says it in capital letters. Um, the only reason I could think of this is because steel wool does leave behind a little bit of steel wool bits and pieces so I did take an extra 20-30 minutes just to clean up really nicely made sure there was nothing left behind and it all turned out very well so no harm no foul there okay so next up we move to the staining of the tabletop and chairs uh, so first up we need to move or remove the covering that we put on the tabletop so pretty simple just take it all off and I happen to use a dark walnut stain just with the foam brush uh, two coats of it and you're good to go there at first I didn't really care for it I thought it was gonna be too light but once I actually put the lacquer at the very end I, w I was definitely a fan Okay, now moving on to finishing the top, I use lacquer. Now every finish has its pros and its cons. So the cons on this one is you do need at least three coats of it, but the pros is the, each coat dries within about two hours. So literally you can have the whole tabletop done within a day's work, actually within about half day's work for that matter. Now once everything is done, it's time for reassembly. Now, and actually I should have said this earlier, but take plenty of pictures, that way you can see where everything goes. Again, this one's not too hard of a project, it's not too complex, so it wasn't too bad. But if you do have a more complex project, definitely take some pictures. In my case, I had these videos to go off of just in case. Now when applying everything first, you don't want to tighten everything down. So you want to give everything a little bit of room to wiggle, just to make sure all the bolts go all nice and even. And then once you have the whole chair put together, then tighten everything down. Okay, 
and at the very end I did put a felt pad on all of the legs, table legs and chair legs, gives them a nice finish here, nice detailed finish. And just like that, we are done everyone. So check it out here, let me get you a nice little close up. So we have the semi-gloss stain up top, satin black down on the bottom of everything. Contrast is looking really nice with this project here. So overall, I really like it. Um, honestly, anyone can really do this. Is it a lot of work? Yes, by all means, it is a lot of work. Is it impossible? No, it's not impossible. Just with a few simple hand tools, a lot of sandpaper, and just a little bit of knowledge, you can easily turn something that was just faded away, turn it into something that looks pretty much brand new. So again, that's what it looks like. We need to get this guy to its rightful owners. I need to clean the garage just because it's a disaster in here. I was working on about two to three different projects at the same time, but that is all that I have for you today. Please browse the channel, like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time.